As said by the great turtle in the great movie Kung Fu Panda, a news is just news. There is no such thing as good news or bad news. But this is bad news. Hey there everyone, Hatesh here back again with another video and in this video we are talking about one bad news. Hate that it's me to break out this bad news and address it properly. Uh, I, it's, it's really bad news. Now, you might have seen the update. If you haven't seen that, let me make it officially that Java 11 is not gonna be free. It's gonna be paid, but it's not that much bad as it looks like. Yes, it's definitely bad, but it's not that much bad. So let me just break it down into the things so that you can understand this thing properly. If you remember from my previous videos on my YouTube channel, from the archive of this YouTube channel, I have mentioned this in the past, that this lawsuit, this court case between Google and Oracle is gonna turn up pretty bad for every single developer and uh, it is now. Oracle is already known as very aggressive company when it comes to these lawsuits and copyright infringement and all of that. I have seen some of my friends who are other fellow instructors on other great platforms, don't want to name them, uh, but they have seen these copyright strikes just because they have used Java uh, logo in their courses. Of course, they are not allowed to use so, but they are not doing anything with that. But still, they have got copyright notices for that and they have changed the image of their courses. So this is the status as of now for the company. The company has a well reputation for being too much aggressive and they are just following their marks. Now the obvious question is, hey Tish, if Java 11 is paid, how am I able to download it for free? I went on to the JDK 11 download page, it's available there, and I'm able to download it, install it, and even run that properly. So how come is it paid? My friend, my programmer buddy, a great point, you have mentioned it there. Yes, Java 11 is totally free to download, install, but you might have noticed a small yellow box onto the download page that yes, the licensing are getting changed and licensing my dear friend is a very complicated topic and now let's get on to the computer and first talk about what are the changes that Oracle has made in their licensing and what for what thing Java is now available for free and for what things it's not. So what you do when it comes to download the Java, install it and release a production thing or just make an amazing product like that. You simply go on to your browser, just search for that Oracle link and just simply go ahead and download JDK, install that, use in production. But you forgot to do one thing. Now usually the case is if you're on a Mac or Windows, you just click on this, you accept the license and you click on that and it will prompt you to download. And this is the usual inertia. Everybody just goes onto this path and probably what is going to happen now, you might download that, you might use that in production, you might be happy with your product and a lot of businesses are using that, you're making good money with that, paying your staff, office rent and everything, but one day you get a call from the license team of Oracle and asking, hey, just we want $200,000, would you like to give it us? You say no, then shut down your company. It might happen, it might happen, it's nothing like, uh, nothing out of the blue. So notice here it says important changes in Oracle JDK 11 license. Obviously they are saying that hey there are some license agreement changes. So here's the new license you can just click on that and I'm not doing anything I'm just showing you the information which is already available so I can surely zoom that in a little bit and I can say and specify some of the highlights of the points. Further you may not use the program for any data processing or any commercial production or internal business purpose other than developing, testing, prototyping, and demonstrating your application. Remember the point, you can use it for developing, testing, and prototyping, and demonstrating your application. Remove or modify any program making uh, markings or any notices of Oracle's or a licensor's proprietary rights, and you can read the rest of the stuff. Um, yeah, surely there are a lot of things, but the license is pretty small, pretty understandable, and the important part is just here. So I highly recommend you to go onto this page, read it yourself, and stay out of trouble. This inertia, just flowing of downloading the thing, using in the production, may land up into pretty bad situations. So hey, be a little bit careful there. So as you have seen in the licensing, yes, things are getting pretty tricky. And they cannot, it is not like I can explain that in just one short video. I need to compile a ton of, ton of information, need to consult with a lot of my friends and have to see what is going to be the foreseen future of the Java. But does this mean that you can stop learning Java? No, not at all. Just keep on learning, keep on going. Because obviously things keep on rolling, keep on changing in the entire industry. It's a common thing. It happens quite a lot. But this one is pretty impactful. 
and obviously I'll be making more videos to make you update about what is the situation right now, how things are gonna turn up in the future and a lot more detail like this. Am I worried about this future change that is about to be there? I would say yes, a little bit. I'm a little bit worried on to the side. But yes, a lot of people are going to be shifted on to the open JDK now. They will look forward to move there. And a lot of things are there. A lot of blog posts are going to come about to come up. They will release cycles. A lot of things are getting changed here. But let me just be assured that it's not like things are going to change overnight. Shortly, they're going to be changing a lot from the very new year, 2019. Uh, but whatever happens, I'll keep you updated on this particular matter, especially the Java. And let's see how the future rolls up. But one thing is pretty sure that Java 11 is going to be the changer, the game changer in the entire IT industry. 2019, it can be really, really a shaky start. Oracle, what have you done? So that's it for this video. In case you have enjoyed this video, please hit subscribe on my YouTube channel. Hey, programming friends, let's jump on to my YouTube channel and together we can build up an amazing community and talk about all such amazing stuff about programming. So join up on my YouTube channel. I'll keep you updated, posted on such regular updates on the tech world, as well as we do some of the programming stuff like Flutter, HTML, CSS, JavaScript, uh, React Native, and, and a lot of ton of stuff is going on at this channel. So. Don't forget to join up at my YouTube channel at this link and I'll surely catch you up in the next video. For the record, I'm done trying to make y'all comfortable. For the record, you ain't trying to grow